I have created the dumbest guns in Modern Warfare 3. If you don't believe me, just look at this. And if you thought that one was bad, just check this out. What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome back to Curse Guns of Modern Warfare 3. Today we're going to be using the WSP Swarm once again, but today we're not going to be using the Akimbo version of it, which I named Brrr. Instead, we're using a different and potentially dumber version of it called Bruh. But since I was feeling a little spicy, we got more than just one stupid gun to use today. We also have this. So for this class, we have the ACR, but it's the Marksman Rifle version, but I used a conversion kit to make it full auto, which basically just makes it the ACR again. Yeah, I know, that's the whole point. It's supposed to be dumb. We've taken a gun that's typically semi-auto and we've made it full auto once again, put a stupid bipod on it along with 60 rounds and every attachment that can make the recoil worse. So yeah, we're just gonna goof around and have some fun with these two classes today and hopefully hit something. Maybe we can hit some feeds. I'm gonna try to pop off. We are getting very close to Rustment 24-7. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we played shipment, we could hit something with these guns, no matter how bad they are. I'm gonna throw myself a softball to start and we'll go for a hardcore Rust 24-7 because there's no way we can't hit anything. Playing this game mode and map combination, we've gotta hit something. But yeah, man, if you guys do enjoy these types of videos and you want to see some more goofy cursed guns on Modern Warfare 3, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm not exactly sure what the schedule is looking like, but I might actually have two videos going up today. I'm sorry for missing Tuesday's upload. Again, I'm not exactly sure when this video is going up, but I will most likely explain that in a different video. I really wanted to try to maintain consistency with the daily uploads, and I did post a short to the channel, so I at least had something, but honestly, man, mentally, I was just not there. I was not ready to be able to get something out on Tuesday, so I am sorry about that. We're going to be starting off with this gun right here, but yeah, man, I'm trying not to dwell on the tournament stuff too much. We got to keep moving forward. We got to keep going. Obviously, if you guys want to know more about that kind of stuff, I'll have a link in the description so you can check that other video out where I will talk about it. Okay, so far I haven't been able to move, so we're going to switch to the other gun. Just get me set up with my bipod somewhere. Let's just, we'll just lock it down. Wait, he was up there. I, I actually just can't move. Oh my God, they have us locked down right now. What is this team? They're giving up too. Oh my God, stop giving up. I have no kills. This class is great. Okay, so this gun can kill someone. Cool. Just wanted to be sure. No way this thing got a hit marker in hardcore. Oh, put him in that corner. Put him in the corner, bro. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my. Oh. No! Bad things happen when they spawn in that corner. Bad things. Come on, let's get it. I need to prove to you guys that this gun is actually good which as usual i'll have the builds at the end of the video if you guys want to check them out i'm sure you guys will love using these guns hey at least we won it's obviously thanks to me i carried the team <laughs> yeah 11 to 22 <laughs> 11 to 22 i mean that was the first game on we were thrown into this one late. We gotta let the skill-based matchmaking kick in. Honestly, man, it's kind of crazy missing an upload when you're uploading daily because I feel like I haven't, like, talked to you guys in a bit. I know that sounds, like, so weird. Like, it's pretty much just been one day, right? But I wanted to talk about the war mode in this game. You guys might know that I've had some complaints about people doing the out-of-the-map glitch and even getting under the map on Modern Warfare 3, and I wanted to make a video really exposing this glitch because it's been a massive problem, dude. Like, I have had to basically completely avoid playing war, which really sucks because it's been my favorite thing to play in this game. But right now, it's borderline unplayable, and if they don't have it fixed by the time I think it's Thursday's update is out, I'm not gonna hold back any punches. There's no way that this glitch has been a part of the game since launch, and for some reason, it's just not on their radar. They haven't really said anything about it. I haven't seen a single word about them knowing that the war glitch even exists. It's just ridiculous, because I know that people would do glitches back in the day on Call of Duty. It's not like this is anything new. But again, like I said, if they don't have this glitch patched by the time it's like Thursday or so, I have one specific ridiculous match that I've been saving. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna talk about it and if they do have it fixed then i'm not gonna even make this video because at that point it would just be pointless to make you know because they'd have the glitch fixed but if they don't fix it oh my god just you wait and see i literally just can't move in hardcore rust it's just not even good to play all right let's go boys now what's nice about the smg build is we can switch what's nice about the smg build is we can switch from thermal to a red dot which might make this thing usable congrats you can camp on the second story of rust we're all very proud of you very impressed if i see more no. Yeah, let's just do like 10v10 mosh pit. I just, I can't. Typically, I tried to play Rust, and then when that fails, I go back to playing War. But I can't play that because that's ruined. Now, again, a big part of that is Sledgehammer's oh, fault for not patching the glitch, but players are also choosing to do the glitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't have to go to these spots. They don't have to do glitches, but they do. We will put this down, mount on it, and then just spray the middle. And we can still get an assist. What the? Oh my god, the recoil is unbelievable. Oh, we got double headshot. 
Dude. The amount of recoil and kick this thing has is just next level. We basically need the bipod. We need to be mounted or something to control it. But this gun does have unrivaled power. Never mind. Wait, did they just win? I think Pomage's team just oh won the God. tournament. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh I'm going big. God. I'm so glad Pomage's team won. BTH, we just won that shit. I don't even care if I get kicked. I just got to watch this. Mark Music with Fitty Gifted. Let's go. Yeah, dude, let's go. I wanted their team to win so bad. I was, I've been watching it all day. Oh, got to get the rat out of here. Ooh, hello. Ooh, outplay Groot. The rat blew up or something. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's kicking too much. No. <laughs> oh, we lost by two kills. I wonder why. You know what? We're going to throw caution to the wind. We're going to just go play some war. If there's people cheating, we'll just deal with it as we go. All right, let's hope this team can get out of here. Oh, my God. Boom. Oh. <laughs> No way that didn't blow up and kill someone. I did see today that I think Sledgehammer finally fixed EOD. So, like, people who are using it, they're finally getting the explosive protection that they should have been getting the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I've got this as a secondary, too, so I can, like, direct impact people. You know what's crazy is that this WSP Swarm, this thing has a pretty fast TTK. Like, it's pretty good. It's just that the build I made is terrible. I purposely built both guns to have the worst recoil control possible. I wanted to try to make this things even worse, but the attachments would only let me go so far. Also, yo, rip to anyone that's trying to do grenade launcher camo challenges right now, because that EOD, whoo! Where the f- <laughs> He really just sat there. Nope. Can his team go to the objective? Like, what are we doing? There's a teammate just hiding in our back spawn. We deserve to lose this. No one else on the team is going to the objective. Yeah. Sheesh. Sheesh is right. It's a 4v6 and no one on the team even went to the objective. No, that was it. Wow, that was the whole game. That was great. I'm going with the veteran from the US. Furch. All right. Furch. I don't think so, buddy. You know, this gun is probably my favorite to use between the two. I think the other gun's trash. This thing can at least kill people. I hear you. Ooh. Quad feed. It's split, but I'll take it. Oh my god. No way. See, I told you we pop off. And this is the gun to pop off with. Uh, what are you doing just laying there? Okay. I'm going to build myself into this wall. There's no shot. Wait. Oh. What are they doing? One thing that's also been kind of strange about war recently is people have been trying to use it for camo challenges, which don't get me wrong. I mostly played war for the camo grinds, but I did not play this for using the grenade launcher. I've seen a lot of people saying to like put down claymores in this mode, but like why? Everyone knows that you're supposed to go into free for all and ask people to do it there because free for all is just easier to try to coordinate with one random person and see if they'll just like put claymores down or something. I don't get why people are going into war and doing this. Like why this game mode? I'm just going to be honest. I don't think this is the place to do it. Like how are you going to consistently get from one side of the map to the other, not play the objective, and then try to set up claymores for the other team. I just, I don't know. Maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't. I just think that your time is better spent in free-for-all trying to find people to do that. It worked out way better for me, and a lot of people who ask this in war, they usually just end up leaving because no one wants to do it. Ooh. Almost got it. This gun is nasty right now. It's actually not too bad. We're coming back. How's our stats, which you can apparently check? Th this is not what I'm using, but okay. Wait, they're on a barricade too? What? Oh. 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 We can hold them. Don't let them on. I think we actually got this. We held them. <laughs> I can't believe this gun actually worked. We had like a split quad. Are we about to take this so fast? Wow. Ooh, random headshot. I'll take it. Really? No one on the team was going to chow that? Oh my god. Brain hell on them. Oh, it's after oh my god. Five man with the turret. You ain't getting shit, boy. 
same for you. Ah, oh, damn it. We got this easily. Thankfully, no one's doing the glitch in this match. Hate how often and how much it ruins matches. But thankfully, it's not messing this one up. Now, unfortunately, since the lobbies will disband, we can't guarantee that we'll be in this normal lobby where no one's cheating. So every time you play war, it's a complete guess. Like it's a wild card. You never know what you're gonna get. You might get a normal lobby. You might get like four people going outside the map. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, he took it, bro. Anyone else? Nah, that was a dead. That's crazy. We could have had another quad feed right there. Wait, I I'm sorry, what? No, I wanted to. <laughs> it was too tempting. It was the most tasty bait. We got this. Hold them. Hold the line, boys. Oh my, there's so many coming. What? How would that miss? How would that not direct impact him? They're defusing. Team. Okay, I think they got him. Nice, good shit. So yeah, somehow this gun weirdly slaps in war. So I think we need to give the knockoff ACR some love. I'm not gonna use it in war though. I wanna see if it's good in other places. Maybe we'll go back to 10v10 because I did get distracted with the tournament win and stuff. Yeah, this thing's recoil. You know what's weird is it seems to kind of tilt the screen a little bit from how much it's kicking. Like, <laughs> look, I'm literally not centered. My aim is gonna like equalize. I feel like, right? Or am I losing my mind? We're not just going up, but I swear it's also tilting our aim. There's just no way. It, oh my, I know it lagged because we just connected, but literally. No. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, I think this gun might actually have the worst recoil I've ever seen. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Estate is definitely the map for this. You look at the weapon swapping. <laughs> Looks so dumb with the bipod, I can't, dude. Yo, you ever see this little thing out here? Has this always been here? They put a statue of me on the map. Ooh. You're not there? Okay, wait, wait, what? what? Oh, look at me go. I'm gonna lay it down. We're gonna watch this eagle right here. Oh, okay. We're getting it back. We're good. Oh my. No! But I'm gonna prone here with the bipod. <laughs> wait, no, they're behind. Oh my god, why are there so many behind? These spawns, dude. They gotta figure out the hard point spawns. Yo, everyone is just appearing next to each other. It's just pure chaos. I mean, I like the chaos. It's crazy how the marksman rifle version of the ACR as well just handles completely differently. Like the regular ACR, that thing just beams. It's crazy accurate. But this thing has got a slow fire rate, but a lot of recoil and not really that powerful. Like at least in full auto, this thing doesn't really seem to do that much more damage. But I don't know, like if you try to seriously use this thing, I have no clue where it would actually be decent. But regardless of how good or bad it is, it's undoubtedly dumb. Like one of the dumbest builds I've made so far. I'm dead. Wait, what? He hit the building and killed no one in 10v10? I don't think so, buddy. Come and get it. Come and... Oh, shit. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> now I tried to pick it up, damn it! You know, I'm kind of bummed that you can't do this, but it'd be so funny to put a full auto conversion kit on this gun and then switch it back to semi-auto. Just complete waste of an attachment slot. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't though. We're stuck in full auto. We could even go in attack stance with this thing. I mean, look at that. Like, look at that. We're way more mobile, for sure. Oh my, it kind of helps with the recoil. Well, it was a good try. We tried to win with this thing, but you know what? I don't think you can win with this gun. But if you guys can believe it, I actually was the best on the team. I tried to play the objective as much as I could, and I tried to do well. But you know what? It is 10v10. There's a lot of people in here. We did manage to break even with this thing. So, I mean, I guess that's not too bad. In some lobbies with cursed gun builds, sometimes you will barely get any kills at all. So, that was actually pretty good. But yeah, guys, let me show you guys the builds that I was using in this match. Here, we're starting off with the WSP Swarm. This is the Bra class. If you want to take a second to look at, like, the perks and all that stuff, you can. But... I'm mostly gonna focus on the gun itself so that way you can just use the gun and then use whatever kind of perks and other stuff that you want to use on your class. So if we go into the WSP Swarm, this is what I'm rocking on the gun. We obviously have the 100 round drum, so you have plenty of ammo to spray at people. We have the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, which just looks stupid. We have the WSP Zip Barrel, which is the tiniest barrel you could possibly get, as well as No Stock, which really shrinks the size of the gun and just makes it look tiny and really goofy. And then lastly, we have the Teplo Clear Shot which is just a pretty massive hybrid thermal and red dot sight that sits on top of the gun and just makes it look dumb. Out of the two dumb builds that I made, this one I think is actually usable and is weirdly not terrible. But you're gonna find that it only really does well in up close situations. When it comes to like medium to long range, this thing's virtually unusable. And then lastly, we have the other class over here, which has the MCW 6.8 marksman rifle. Again, this was what I had on the class. And again, don't worry too much about the secondaries. Like I know I have a Renetti here, but that's, I, I didn't even use it. But yeah, here's the builds for the MCW. 
MCW 6.8. We have the MCW 6.8 Full Auto Conversion Kit, which I think you might have to do a weekly challenge to unlock that. I put the biggest magazine on here. We have the 60 round drum. Then we have the Core BP2 Underbarrel, which is that bipod that you guys were seeing. We also have the Orchestra 40 Short Heavy Barrel, which messes up the recoil. It's intentional, as well as the A90 Venom Stock. So... This gun just really doesn't make any sense. That's the whole purpose of this build. We're turning it from a semi-auto gun into a full-auto gun with 60 rounds so that you can spray. And the stock and barrel attachment are meant to give it more recoil, but it does speed you up. But just in case you want to still have some accuracy and have a chance at not completely missing your shots, we have the bipod so you could just, you know, essentially mount on the ground wherever you want and spray this thing. It's just a stupid build. But if you want to goof around and have some fun with it, I would definitely recommend it because this thing just makes no sense. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching me use some of the dumbest guns I've made in Modern Warfare 3 so far. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more cursed guns in Modern Warfare 3, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I'll come. Oh!